Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the Two Fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Golden Order shine through you. Ah, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the Round Table Hold. I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. Look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. I'm yet to find the noble gold mask. I suppose he'll be closer to the Erd tree. The path ahead might be perilous, but tread it I shall. Since departing the Round Table Hold, I've come to understand, in my solitude, how little it is I truly know. You appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? Do... Do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the Gold Mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the Golden Order and its benevolent rays. And to you too. My sincerest thanks. May the Golden Order shine through you. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble Gold Mask himself, and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly. 
such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. The master is always deep in contemplation. While I frantically attempt to record his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom, I know that this, this is my life's calling. The Golden Order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Oh, was that you? Sorry, I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree, while still a precise calculus. The rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. Is that you? Yes, the Master is still ceased. And after coming all this way, why now, of all times? This is a volume of incantation. It's good to see your enthusiasm. Indeed, I will happily take it off your hands.
What on earth did you do to the Master? Well, not that I'm complaining. Master's finger moves again, resuming his cogitation. More than good enough for me. I haven't the words to thank you. So I'd like to pass this on to you instead. A glimpse into the heart of the Golden Order. Documented by yours truly. Further study of incantations, is it? Indeed, I applaud your enthusiasm. To think that Radigan was Marika herself, or at least such is all I can interpret from the rhythm and calculus of his finger. How would such a thing even have been possible, I wonder? Sadly, I cannot comprehend it myself. Do you have a fuller understanding of the matter? Oh. <laughs> Well, either way, I can continue my documentation. In truth, it matters very little whether I understand the Master's thoughts or not. I am merely his scribe. It is my sole and unwavering purpose. Nice to see you. I can't believe you've come all this way. I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. The rhythms and calculus of the Master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the Golden Order. A conceit, I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Oh, but how could this be? I dread to even entertain the possibility. But somehow, I cannot cast aside my doubts about the Master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the Master were true to the Golden Order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Oh, Master, put my mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you, to be your scribe. <laughs> It's you. I finally come to understand. The Master was nothing more than a madman. Enchanted by a vain and ruinous delusion, he rejected the perfection of the Golden Order, seeking to supplant our glorious faith with his own. <laughs> Could there be a more pitiable comedy? Look at it. The culmination of perfection. Burning before our very eyes. 